everybody, we're coming to you live, right here from inside the main boat facility, Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. I'm Tom. We all know the shoemaster eating uh, ladies' man. Look at, look at him. It's, it's like a great white shark. They won't let go. Can I have my shoe on, please? And a master bug. Good morning, bug. How are we doing today? Hey, man, I'm doing really good so far. I feel like I haven't gotten much accomplished today because all not I've true. done has literally been sitting there like tapping out emails all morning long, but that's like not my specialty. How about Craig being hung over again? Craig, Greg, Ken, Robin, Shannon. Not me. The whole crew in here, man. That Diesel's was, not even drunk. That was the morning meeting this morning. You can't come to work like that. We That's not got, how we work. We're going to get an IV sponsor for this crew around here, I swear, so that they come in, they sit in the front, VIP lounge, needle in the arm, watching TV. Here's an idea. You come going. to work screwed up, go home. It's not my problem anymore. This episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba'sExoticMotorsports.com. For the latest in outlaw boutique apparel and accessories, it is the ladies' man chewing up my shoes. It is Miss Outlaw Boutique at 1200 Town Center Drive, Suite 108. Big men's night coming up. Robin was out shopping for the men's night yesterday, bub. Yep. Uh, the girls have extended hours going on right now. We will be making an announcement today about a big event coming up on the 14th at Miss Outlaw Boutique, bub. Herc Reynolds, Herc Reynolds are Reynolds Dunn Bubba style, the World Rally Champion. You Hammerback is on the way down now. I suspect you will be seeing Herc Reynolds making an appearance out there this weekend, Bob. And finally, the Guinness World Record holding largest cars and coffee event in the world, right here in the Palm Beaches, the 21st of this month. I'm sorry, January, Bob. And we will be there with the 405 boys. Shout out to all of the former street outlaws from Discoveries. Uh, Street Outlaws 405 crew. We're all together now, and we're going to be talking more about that pub. Hey, man, to start, please put your shoe on. Something was starting to smell in here. Hello? Okay, this is it's not a scene back to. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, we'll be right there. Hey, Bob, it's actually me calling from right next door. Stop. We need the string lace between it. Oh, do we really? Here, put this back on. This is not a thing from Get Smart. Oh, it's not? No. Hello, Chief? Max. Max. <laughs> All right, so listen here. So, what do we got going here today, Bob? So check it out. This thing is laying down a serious tire burning. Goaty Bow, 4L60E. Everybody knows Goaty Bow from street out, former street outlaws, uh, New Orleans, the 405 crew. Here is your brand new transmission guaranteed to plant that Corvette's 900 horsepower. Yo, it's not doing it with this one. No. This one couldn't even make it through our parking lot. Oh. Okay. So we're not planning any power with this one. So check it out. This is actually just what we do here at BEM. This is one of our local clients. He's been a longtime client of ours. Everything from maintenance to his custom upholstery that we do on some of the side things that he does. Look as at well. Craig. Hammered. Completely Gone. wiped out, man. Gone. So I'll tell you what, man. He has brought this thing in. This He trailers around boats. He trailers around toy haulers. He does all kinds of transportation for people. Actually builds golf carts for a living. <clears throat> some pretty sick ones too, I might add. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, some of those have had the BEM touch, and those things are when they're And that's level. every one of them that's wrecked. Right, that's when you get all of it. Yes. I'll tell you what, that last golf cart we did, though, that we lifted and put on 29-inch oh wheels man, and tires, dude. Oh my god, paint job you did? I mean, the seat is like this high on this yeah. thing. You have to literally jump into a golf cart pretty solid. He transports these things around. This is just his basic local daily driver. He wants to keep it for a long time. There's absolutely zero rust on this thing, which is surprising. Great platform, two-wheel drive, not like the uh, Denali's, which Greg is six hung over. He can't even spell right. Look, he put Brian Laufenhauser, Hausen, Hausen, Deucen, Wasson. That's how his name spelled. Good morning, Robbie, and good morning, Brian. How are that's, you guys? Thank you for joining us Facebook, live. Man. So I'll tell you what, man, it's, this isn't like that Denali with the 6.0. Those things were super solid, man, from that same era, like 04 to 06. They had the 6.0 liter in them, all-wheel drive, all the time. So it was poor on gas mileage, super, right. super powerful. They moved, um, you know, factory 425 horse. So they were really solid to drive around town. They had the luxury. They had the leather in them. They had the nav in them. They are really fun to have. But I'll tell you what, man, the all-wheel drive ones, just every component failed, from the differentials to the transmissions to the front, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the front differential, but also the transfer case, always rebuilding the hubs, rebuilding bearings, replacing seals, 
every part on those things was just under so much wear and tear, especially if you did either a lift kit or drop kit with wheels and tires, pushing more weight around on them. They just couldn't handle it, right? This one, a much nicer setup in my personal opinion, especially here in South Florida, not lifted, nothing more than a street driver, two wheel drive. It is just rear wheel setup, so it's easy to take this out. You're not having to deal with transfer cases and front shafts and rear shafts. You're not having to deal with all those components that come out. So taking this apart, the guys have been on it all morning long in probably a record whopping like hour and 30 minutes. These things Bob, came you out. You take them out the in 20 minutes. I know. I was saying for the crew, it was, an, it was a uh, total time yeah. whopping hour and 30 minutes. For me, it was like, dude, come on. I would have been done with this thing last night. You, would, you could do that hungover. Probably for sure. Hey, Bud, some of the problems that these trucks did have was over your 15-year career. You've seen a lot, a lot of people don't know that we also do daily maintenance on our people, uh, on our clients' drivers, as well as, I mean, anything from an oil change to a complete custom pro touring build or a twin turbo Lambo upgrade. Right. And one of the things, Bud, that people don't understand is you've dealt a lot with these Chevrolet trucks. Mm -hmm. They were problematic up front. Uh, they had a lot of, they had Pittman arm problems. They had... They did, man. Yeah, uh, definitely. There was, there was a lot of trouble with these things. As you know, you know, you've had a few of them. Um, you know, these, the GM series trucks from, you know, all of that, like mid 2000 range, man, when they were just started introducing a lot of what a lot of people go and get the actual LS swaps out of these things because the motors are so strong. Yes. But the rest of the truck couldn't handle it. You always had a lot of steering play. The Pittman yes. arms, like you mentioned, were failing all of the time. Steering components, tie rods. I mean, when you were replacing these things, Anytime they typically hit, depending on your driving style, of course, um, where you lived, how you were treating it, I mean, anything from that 80,000 to 120,000 yes. mark on these things, everything was getting replaced. I'm talking suspension, springs, the front was on torsion, so not too bad. But in the rear, man, these things always sagged when you put weight in them, especially if they had the factory air ride like the Denali's, the limited yes. editions did. Um, so there was always a lot of little problematic pieces to them, but they're great vehicles, man. The, there was hardly any rust on them. They didn't rust out in the lower portions of the cabs, the doors, nothing like that. Um, so they had potential, they had serious potential, and that's exactly what we're doing now with this one. This client drives it every day. He loves the truck. Of course, it's paid off. Probably worth in the good, like, $6,000 range, so it's not an expensive truck anymore, but he loves it. He loves the fact that it gets great gas mileage because it's two-wheel drive. It's a 5.3 well. bulletproof motor in it. It's solid. It's got 160,000 miles on it, but he wants to ride this thing out for a couple more years. He just bought a brand-new Tahoe, actually, in 2018. <laughs> So he just incurred, you know, $70,000 expense on that one. He doesn't want to go buy another one now. So now we're just going to go ahead and do brand new transmission swap in this thing, 4L60E, easy out, easy in, get this thing filled up, get it set, get it all out on the road. One of the things, Bob, you just mentioned was torsion. Uh, what is torsion? They are called torsion bars on the front end. They are used on the front end. Mopar used them in some of their earlier applications, and a lot of trucks use them. Can you please tell the audience what is a torsion bar and what does it do? So it's <laughs> essentially a sprung rod. So this thing on these things is probably three and a half, four feet long. Um, you can literally get to like, if you wanted to lower this truck, you can get torsion keys, which mount at the back of it. You can adjust them for not only the ride height, but also tension on it. Um, a lot of guys do them on like the lifted series trucks. You can go up with them two and a half, three, four inches, depending on the key that you bought, the bracket kits you bought. Is it um, physically a key or? No. So it's, it's <clears throat> literally got a hex shape in one side of it. And it's got almost a hook that runs off the other side. There's adjustable bolts on it. So you can set everything so that the ride height's set perfectly level. You know, it's not leaning one side or another by a quarter inch, a half of an inch. Um, a lot of these guys out there, you know, don't really know how to work with torsion rods. To me personally, not something I prefer. I prefer having a coil spring set up as much as you can. This one has actually been upgraded again because he does do some towing. It has- I see the heavy duty coil springs right. in the back. So you see that on here. So this thing does have factory rear coil springs. It was coil spring on the rear torsion bar on the front, but he did also replace the rear shocks with just a direct replacement heavy duty spring and shock combination. So it does have the factory rear springs, but also the shock absorbers have a additional helper spring on them as well to keep more of that weight back here. It's not like the Denali where it had the air ride on it where if you did put more weight on the back and it sagged down, it would bump itself up. So when this one sags down without that extra help of any spring rate, it's going to just sag down and that's it. Interesting, Bub. So Bub, you, do you prefer, good morning to Candace Burke uh, Watkins out there. Thank you for joining us. Where is Candace from? Let us know, producers. Um, Bub, do you, are you happy with this setup the way that it looks like they've taken it off the factory air, which is kind of problematic and done some of the suspension upgrades. How does it ride to you? Um, it rides good, man. It's, uh, you know, these things with that torsion rod set up on the front of them, it's by the time you start adding, I mean, these are some seriously vintage, and I'm talking vintage Momo wheels on this thing. Um, they are 24 inch Momo, Momo being wheels. the manufacturer. Yeah, so an Italian made, it's super old, man. You can't get these wheels anymore at all. You can still get Momo steering wheels, accessories, seat. You can get a bunch of components from them. 
but they do not make this wheel anymore. The weight of these wheels, I kid you not, is retarded, dude. They're probably a hundred pounds just to wow. lift, I swear. That's how heavy these wheels are, just taking them on and off of this thing. So you're adding a lot of that rotational weight, which essentially slows you down in terms of you're stopping, just like putting a larger wheel and sure. tire combo on your car. It takes more pressure to stop that thing. So you gotta push a little harder on the brakes. You can feel the weight of those wheels, but you can also not only feel them in a rotational standpoint in terms of stopping, but also in the suspension itself. Yes. When you hit a bump, you have much more weight that slams around. So you kind of get that sloppy feel, and that's just not a personal feeling that I like to have. I like my rides tight. You know, I can set them pretty solid on my stance. I can get Stupid. within a half inch, yeah. three quarters of an inch, and still have no tire scrub or rub. Yep, exactly. There is Bob, there is the ladies' man and her twin, his twin sitting right there. The they do look just, almost they're identical. They're almost laying out. Hey, Bob, let's talk a little bit about the 405 crew and what's going on. We are meeting with uh, our entertainment attorney today, uh, this afternoon. Contracts are being put together and things are moving forward. We have a great situation setting up with all the boys from the 405 crew out there. So much so, Bob, that there's buzz all over the internet and people not only wanting some of our boys from the 405 crew that will, are involved in this new project with us, that will be a network and digital uh, television deal. Um, they are even asking some of the boys to please uh, help finish build their car despite uh, personal ongoing personality conflicts. Well, listen here, man. So there is something that's going on behind the scenes, of course, brewing here at BEM, which is Bubba's Exotic Motorsports for all you new watchers out there. Um, we are down here in beautiful South Florida, man. It's almost 80 degrees outside right now, so a lot of the rest of the U.S. is getting pretty cold but we are in beautiful weather down here, about to go to the beach this afternoon. Yes. I'll tell you what, man, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes with a lot of the street outlaw legends in terms of small tire drivers, right? Not the big tire cars. Small tire boys. But the small tire boys are all out there and we've got a lot of stuff yep. working in the background right now, so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for what we're bringing to the table and what you're gonna see around the corner. It, Bub, tell me, I, I, we're not at liberty, we don't discuss it, what goes on behind uh, well, that's why I tried here. to end it right exactly. there. Exactly. Keep going. But tell me how funny last night was. I mean, we had all of the all of the 405 crew on one group chat. Was it the funniest thing you've ever seen? I mean, we get into some pretty funny texts, but those no, guys we, were cutting up pretty good. We get some pretty funny uh, group chats going, man, and uh, it, it's a pretty solid 405 crew. I'll tell you what, man. They're so good we, boys, we, man. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got some good guys out there. Um, uh, quite a the few cars are on the way into BEM right now. They are in an enclosed trailer. So Let's those talk are about in. that but we also have some of the cars out debuting at PRI right now. So that's gonna be an awesome event. We've done that one quite a few years back to back. And uh, you know, just looking forward to a lot of fun what we've got coming to the table. We understand Black Ops did fire off the, uh, the uh, Trans Am last night and drove around, knocked a couple tables over at the PRI sure. event. How about would. that, Bob? Why wouldn't you? I would. Come on. I would be up there doing it myself. For sure. I'd uh, be bumping into everyone's tables. How about that? Yep. The Legends uh, Gold Car is on the way in right now. Yep. The uh, uh, Goaty Bo's Box Nova is on the way in. You were studying the pictures of it this morning. Yep. Uh, you were starting to put together some design intents. The Bubba's Exotic Motorsports uh, 17 uh titan has been completely stripped of greg got it torn apart yesterday the interior is completely out of that that's now getting ready to go nor eat northeast to custom performance engineering's uh headquarters plant where mm -hmm. you and josh at cpe have been working diligently side by side to design this new platform another world industry first that will roll out at sema this year yeah man it's uh you know we've got a lot of a lot of stuff going on in the background right now um, we don't really, really want to throw out too much of it. You guys are definitely going to have to stay tuned to find out what we have going in the works right now, not only for the client rides here at BE, and we've got a lot of pro touring rides we are wrapping up right now. I've been in the paint shop. As you can tell, all week I'm covered in freaking paint. There's more paint on me than there is on some of these cars. So I've got a lot of work to do there, but uh, everything from the client rides, man, to the SEMA 18 builds we've got contracted to the Street Outlaw Small Tire Legends, man. We've got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and just gonna have to stay tuned. I will be able to release this, Bob. You wanna give the shout outs real quick and then I'll move into the next segment. Yeah, man, so shout out to Matthew Neal, Shannon and Christina Travis. Travis, Christina, that is, uh Let's see, no, I, I'm thinking of, I'm trying to put things together. Bub, on, I met with our new title sponsor, uh, Chris Harris, with uh, IRG Sports and Entertainment yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official, Public uh, Palm Beach International Raceway is now the new race uh, facility for the new show with the 405 boys and Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. And on the 12th and 13th of January, we have a huge event, uh, event for all of you around the world. Um, we, uh, the ticket sales, the tickets are now going up for sale along with the media uh, drop on our website and the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com website, which, uh, by the way, the new um, 
Items are being uploaded for sale. Nitto tires, American Racing wheels, Extreme Dimension body kits, Bob. Those are all going up. Borley exhaust, those are all going up, correct? Yeah, man. So <laughs> as he's talking about, at Bubba'sExoticMotorsports.com, go to that site if you guys are either looking for media-related things or just information that we have going on here behind the scenes. You will get sneak peeks of all those. We have over 19,000 products available through all of the major sponsors that are in this automotive industry, everything from turbochargers, superchargers, nitrous, roll cages. We were talking about direct fit roll cages last night with the brand new GT350Rs. Um, man, everything from big brake kits to wide body kits, carbon components, wheels and tires, anything you could possibly imagine is at our site. It is literally going to be, I'm telling you guys right now, the new go-to for Summit Racing slash Jags, all of those automotive suppliers out there, we are going to dominate that. Stay tuned for that. So, Bob, on the 12th and 13th of January, uh, we bring the boys, the 405 boys in to uh, officially uh, hang out with us here uh, on uh, here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, I can release the schedule. What will be happening is we will be staying uh, at a hotel locally here, a five-star lo uh, hotel locally here with all the boys, and the famed producer, Chet Burks. That's right. Um, who is the, uh, who now has the lead on the new show. Yeah. Um, Chet, as you know, has a very, uh, uh, long career. He has done such shows as what, Bob, for Velocity and Discovery? Oh, man, Chet's done, I mean, an entire list of shows. I mean, currently right now he's working on, uh, he's got Salt out there. Um, that's on the Salt Flats. He's got uh, What's in the Barn, Americana, Cafe Racer. I mean, he's got so many shows, CB Productions. Check his stuff out. Um, incredible stuff, man. And he's also working I mean, on your... 4K quality. He's working on uh, Billy Lane's new show. So there's a lot of things coming out right now. Stay tuned for all that stuff. If you guys haven't seen it and you don't know any of the stuff we are talking about, go to our website, BubbasExoticMotorsports.com. Scroll down, like halfway down that page. You'll see all of our social media and networking stuff that we do there, whatever it is you guys prefer, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all of those out there. Click on them, subscribe to them, and anything that we do, discuss, update, build, design, do sneak peeks on, any of it will go live in your pocket, and you'll always know what we've got going on. One of the things your very good friend, um, the, the world-famous chopper builder Billy Lane, Chet Burks is always also producing his new show, Sons of Speed. Good morning to Andrade Sr., Jr. from the 405 crew. Sr., I hope you went out and dumped some oil uh, in, over in Goaty Bo's place and called OSHA. That's what we need to do and get it started. That's Janet right. says, whoop, whoop, the 405 crew, and good morning to Brett Hayes. Well, on the 11th, the boys will fly in uh, to an undisclosed location with us. Uh, on the 12th, uh, the, the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports uh, uh, build facility will be closed uh, for work, but open to the pub public. You will see the actual cars from the 405 uh, boys here on display, to several of which you are building. Um, here, they will be on display here. Your $50 ticket will get you uh, the following on that day. You have an open house here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. You see where we actually film the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports show and the number one uh, rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast with over 22 million listeners. We picked up 5,000 new people last night alone, Bob. Yeah. Then we leave from here at about, I think that's an open house from 9 to 11 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the uh, facility will be completely open. All three of the gates around the major facility will be open for people to come and go. Um, you'll be able to meet the cast and crew here above his exotic motorsports, less you and I. Then we will be uh, uh, on the tour bus over at Miss Outlaw Boutique, 1200 Town Center Drive, Suite 100, where you will do the, we will do the first public appearance with the 405 crew from the new show. Uh, we will be doing autographs over there. Miss Outlaw will be doing a huge, a huge um, sale going on for the guys to buy their girls things, girls to get their things. Then from there, we take a small break. You can eat lunch at Jumbie Bay there. We take a small break. We start racing on the go-kart track at 8, uh, 8 p.m., Bob. Then under the lights. Uh, under the lights. We will be For doing sure, it. I'm definitely turning off the lights when everyone's going through the car. I'm bumping six. every one of you boys. Goaty, I'm coming. Legend, I'm coming. I just want you guys to know that. I'm after you, and it's full disclosure. Uh, we will also be front and center, Bob, at the uh, Time and Tune, where we will be test taking and Test and Tune, yes. where several of the Street Outlaw cars will be out there. For $250, you can purchase a VIP ticket where you will have a chance to ride with the crew and go to dinner on the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports um, uh, bus with us after the event, Bob. Uh, we'll go to dinner. I'll buy you guys a hot dog if you're lucky. No bun. I'm Listen, a cheap man, son of a bitch. we were out with a couple of the guys from the Marlins the other night. We yes, actually went to the dog house. Yes, you did. So this is a new hot dog joint that is yes. right here, just south of the facility by like a half a mile, maybe a mile. 
Let me tell you, man, when you go in there expecting to order like two, three chili dogs, you are probably going to end up eating like 10, maybe 11, 12. These things are stupid amazing. They are good. So By the way, that was like a $5,000 promo Porter. for the Doghouse Cafe here, here on Donald Ross Road in Porter. Jupiter, Florida. Porter. He doesn't want to come over here. Come here, Porter. Come here. Porter, come here, buddy. Come, come here, here. man. Let everybody see you. He doesn't want to. Come here. Come here, Porter. Watch you don't want to get close to D. There it is. Two bullies on the set. We have two English bullies. We love them a lot, guys. They are our specialty. Um, Bub, so that night we will be uh, with the race and rally team. Um, we will be doing uh, a $250 VIP ticket. You can purchase it uh, at the Palm Beach International Raceway website in advance. Yep. Um, there are thousands of people who will show up. The facility is going to be open. You're going to see the cleanliness and the beauty of the facility. They will be at the uh, Supercar Week uh, road track where Geo Hammerback, the World Rally Champion, will be driving, and we will take the BEM Porsches out there as well. Yep. Um, then we'll go to dinner with the VIP t uh, ticket holder, the winner, and on Saturday, everybody will be here to see, um, everybody will be here from the 405 crew to do the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast live with us. Yeah, man, we're, uh, we're looking forward to it. You guys have to stay tuned for all these things we've got coming. They are super exciting. A lot of great product releases, a lot of great product reviews. We are getting ready to do a total sneak peek also on a new kit for Borla exhaust yes. for all S550 uh, exhaust owners out there. So I'll tell you what, man, it's going to be everything from their race series to the touring series, the sport series exhaust from Borla. Stay tuned for that one. We are going to be doing that over the next couple of days, and you guys will see what kind of quality and sound that system produces. I believe one of the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports 981s is going to be wearing a new Borla exhaust as well. It should be. This is yes, true. That's correct. I'm talking to Lisa over there today. So, Bub, a lot of good things going on, a lot of exciting things here. Thank you for sharing with us a little bit about the 4L60E. Gody, this is ready for the new 900 horsepower Corvette that we're going to be racing. I'll be driving, Gody. I just want you to know that at the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Can you lift yes. this thing and carry it around right yes. now? Yes. It's really heavy. Dude. Yes. Listen, this thing with full fluid and converter in it is, I noticed you only showed your right one. How about that? What's going on with the left one over here? Ladies and gentlemen, do you, see strap. A, do you see a difference between that one and that one? You can't see it, can you? Hey, stop. <laughs> you want to tell the story? So even Double D said yesterday, like, yo, what happened to that thing? Where's, where's your bicep? <laughs> tell the story, Bob. Oh, that's a wreck, dude. This is, I'm a wreck. I don't care, ladies and gentlemen. So listen, when you have a bicep tendon tear, which is the, your bicep is connected to your elbow are, bone, right? Which Can is we connected go to, this, to your knee bone. Not at all. In your case, probably. So I'll tell you what, man. This guy goes in the gym. He stretches this thing so freaking hard that his bicep just rolls up here to his shoulder. Up into here. So now he's got a huge shoulder, but no bicep at all. So this guy's looking jacked on one spot, but super, So you ought to see wrong. me doing curls and my shoulder getting bigger. Right. So... He finally goes and has a surgery done, of course, because of all the tight By Dr. We Wayne, have here. Wade Van Sight. Yep. So the, the doctor of the Miami Marlins who does these things day in, day out, in his sleep, these guys are getting Tommy Johns done almost daily, two, three, four times a day. Wade is doing these surgeries, and I'll tell you what, man, he is a pro at it. If there's anybody who I'm would a pro. do that kind of surgery, it would be him. He does nothing more than joint reconnection and reconstruction every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. These guys are back out point? on the field within six months throwing 100-mile-an-hour fastballs again. Not me. Those guys go through a very strategic and well-thought-out and well-planned rehab after they get their surgery done, right? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of key. You snap a tendon in half, maybe two. Got it looking like a, instead of a piece of solid string, it looks like a bunch of cauliflower everywhere just blown up all over the place, exploded buttholes, whatever it is you want to call it or think about it as. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go with cauliflower, possibly broccoli. That's kind of what it looks like. But I'll tell you what, man. This guy went through his surgery in and out like a champ. I mean, the doctor videoed the whole thing. Really, really cool to see all that. Definitely looked like he had a whole sack of cauliflower in his elbow. I pulled both tendons. of the tendons. Right. Um, and then so he's rejoined, reconnected. Well, rehab is typically about three months, 90 days to go out before you even like get out of your swing and like slowly start moving your arms, like stretch those tendons back out and get them going. Uh, when did you start working out? I waited three days. Kid you not. This guy like right out of surgery still has the thing wrapped around his arm with the bandage in it on and with all the stitches hanging out everywhere and the freaking all kinds of nonsense. He's got a drain tube in his arm and he's in the gym like this. Like, dude, what are you doing? You know that's gonna pop apart. So sure enough, by like week number one, his bicep is back up here at his shoulder. So guess what? Now he's looking like freaking Toto. <laughs> Roll with it, bro. <laughs> I will go back to surgery, ladies and gentlemen. And it's only about that much of my bicep that's missing. 
That's considering a lot. the size of these gun size of these guns, I can afford to lose a little. Stop. How comes the Marlins couldn't keep up with you lifting yesterday? Listen, dude. Those guys. You're I an think, animal, dude. I think he said it best. He was like, bro, stop. Like, you're all about strength. I gotta be more endurance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing 500 pounds. He's doing 200. That's exactly right. Listen, that's the way it rolls, though. Till tomorrow, Bub. Just keep on doing it Bubba style. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for this episode of Doing It Bubba Style. It's been brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Dot com. Check out all of our online apparel, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to Kenny out there. Forgot to see that. One of my producers just threw it up there. Check out all of our online apparel, ladies and gentlemen, and all of the parts and accessories now on sale. This show has been brought to you by Diesel and Pork Chop laying around here, hanging out on the floor with us. Miss Outlaw Boutique, host of the Big BEM 405 Street Outlaws event coming to you on January. Question. Yes, sir. Uh, why didn't we talk about this transmission anymore, number one, because we really didn't get into detail on 4L60E transmissions, what causes them to blow up, how they get overworked, how to identify if you have a problem with your transmission. What happened to, what happened to this 4L60E? No, we're done. You're already in closing. So we'll no, just have to discuss that another time. And the other thing we also forgot is this segment is sponsored by Monster Energy. What's your flavor? Monster Energy is energy done Bubba style. Ladies and gentlemen, I had attempt to tell you something about this 4L60E, but the only thing I can tell you is it's out of the vehicle right now. How is that? Management I'm great at. Anyways, this episode is brought to you by the partner and sponsor of the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports 405 Crew event, January 12th. Tickets on sale now at the Palm Beach Inter International Raceway um, website. Check it out. We're going to have a great time. Autograph sessions. And even Chris over at Palm Beach International Raceway said, he was looking at some of Layla Von Athey's supermodel pictures in the magazines framed in the VIP section here at the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports main facility admin offices, and he said, my God, she's stunning in person. Check her out. Her mom is a model as well. Where do you think it comes from? Check it out on Instagram, Miss Outlaw Boutique, for the finest in apparel from boutique standpoints and accessories. How about that? Herc Reynolds, big, big shout out to Herc Reynolds. They're joining us here. It's good stuff, man. Herc Reynolds, our Reynolds done Bubba style. The World Rally Champion, Mr. Geo Hammerback is in the house uh, or will be arriving shortly. Herc Reynolds is gonna be taking the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports M3 BMW out to Palm Beach International Raceway for the commercial we're getting ready to film on the 9th. We welcome you to join us out there as well. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the Guinness World Record holding cars and coffee event January 21st, this uh, will be the upcoming month. We will be having, we'll have there 40,000 people come out and enjoy us. We're going to have the 405 crew out there, and the boys are going to be joining us as well. Great group of guys, man. These are not unapproachable people. They're just like us and just like our family, ladies and gentlemen. They're very approachable, and they want to interact with all of you out there at these events. They want to sit down at these events autograph tables. Good morning to Matthew Neal and Matt is asking what's up guys. Matt says uh, what's up guys. Good morning Matt. We're humbled. Thank you. We're doing very well and I hope you are as well too. Ladies and gentlemen let's reach out to touch somebody's life in a very positive manner today. Open the door for somebody who's got their hands full. An elderly person who's trying to get their wheelchair out of the uh, out of the trunk. You know just help them out man. Help them out. A lot of people have packages in their hands. Let's help them out. This is the season of giving. But we should give every day because we're blessed. Doesn't matter how things are financially. Doesn't how you're, matter how you're doing emotionally. Don't let anybody see it. Just help out. You know, If somebody's got holes in their shoes, just like my shoes are ripped up by the ladies, man, give them a pair of shoes. If they're a little bit big for their feet, it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a pair of shoes, especially in the Northeast where it's cold, wet, rainy. These people are bundled up. Let's remember our veterans. They're out there bundled up as well. Let's keep them out there, all right, in our hearts and our thoughts and our prayers. And if somebody's hungry, ladies and gentlemen, 7-Eleven, Sitco, any of those places are cheap. You don't have to pay your money to them. All you have to do is buy them a meal. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, let's remember all the beautiful animals that God's entrusted us to. They're part of our lives. They bring a lot of happiness into us, and it's our responsibility to take care of them. <laughs> We look forward to all the great stuff going on with Chet Burks, Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, Miss Outlaw uh, Garage, and the crew from the former crew from Street Outlaws, the 405 boys, Goody Bo, Andre, Andrade Sr., Jr., the whole crew, the legend himself, Wayne uh, Varley. I mean all of them, man. I, I mean, talk, I'm talking about everybody. I can't say enough about these guys. They're the greatest group of people in the world. We're honored to be part of their lives. They're good people. The cars are on the way in here. In fact, the legend's car is on the way in here right now, the gold car. Uh, as is the Box Nova of Goaty Bows. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow we'll pick it up and do it again.
you have any questions, sales above is exotic motorsports.com, 561-748-2926. Ask Shannon in our media center what's going on. She can tell you more about what we're doing with the do show and the boys. Until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, the ladies' man and I wish you a wonderful day. Keep on doing it, brother. You ready to go down and grab something to eat? Hey, Bob, you want to blow off our diet today and go to Taco Bell? No. No? Let's eat healthy.